In this video we're going to start the section on ratios and we're going to start looking at ratios to see how they can be con uh, converted to other number systems such as fractions, decimals and percentages. So our ratio of 1 to 8 written in fraction form is going to be 1 8, 1 over 8, first number on top of second number. Now 1 8 is a decimal we'd need to do 1 divided by 8 and that comes out at 0 0.125 and to get to a percentage the easiest thing is to multiply our decimal by 100 which is 12.5 percent. In the second line of our table we have a fraction of two fifths which is easily written as a ratio of two to five and we know that two fifths is the same as four tenths and we can write four tenths also as a decimal then we need to multiply by a hundred to get this to be a percentage and that will give us forty percent the decimal point will move one two places we need to put a zero in the third line of the table we have a decimal 0 0.34 which we can say is 34 hundredths so as a fraction that's 34 hundredths or 7 over 50, 7 fiftieths. To write that as a ratio we take our simplified fraction and it will be 17 to 50. As a percentage, we need to take our decimal and we need to times that by 100, which, which gives us 34%. And the last line of this table is 5%. So to convert 5% back to a decimal, we need to divide by 100. And that will give us 0 0.05. We can double check that. This is 5 hundredths. And... 5% means 5 out of 100, so it's this, we're talking the same thing. Um, as a fraction, we just said that this uh, decimal was 500, so that's 5 on 100, which is 1 over 20, which makes our ratio 1 to 20. Now moving along to the next screen with harder questions. A ratio of 2 to 3 gives a fraction of 2 over 3, which is 2 divided by 3 as a decimal, which gives the reoccurring decimal 0.6 recurring. So as a percentage, when you times by 100, you'll get 66.66 recurring percent. On the second line of the table, we have a fraction, but it's, it's a mixed number technically which needs to be written as an improper fraction, which is 7 over 5, so our ratio is 7 to 5. As a decimal, we could uh, leave the 1 as it is and write our 2 fifths as 4 tenths. 4 tenths of fraction can be written as 4 tenths of decimal, which is 1.4. To make that a percentage, we need to times by 100, it becomes 140%. On the third line of our table, we've got a decimal. And to convert the decimal to a percentage, we need to times by 100. So that will be 182%. To write the decimal as a fraction, we'll start off writing it as um, a mixed number, which will be 1 and 82 hundredths, which is the same as 1 and... 41 fiftieths. Now, we can't quite write that as a ratio as it stands. We need to make this an improper, an improper fraction. So I'll need to put that on the side. I've run myself short of space. So 150 is 50 plus 41 is 91 and 50. So that's 91 fiftieths there. Once we've got the 91 fiftieths, we can write that as a ratio of 91 to 50. 
the last line of our table we've been given a percentage 72% and we need to divide that by 100 to get it back to a decimal which is 0 0.72 we can say this, this decimal is 72 hundredths which helps us greatly put it into a fraction and we can simplify that down 4 will go into the top and 4 will go into the bottom so that is 18 25ths now that we have that as a simplified fraction we can write our ratio as 18 to 25 